Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I have standing beside me here, Moses Samson, 22 year old. He will give the testimony of his salvation. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Moses Samson. My name is Moses Samson. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. It It was on the 21st, I attend this program. So on the 23rd, when the pastor was praying that anybody that wants to give his life to Christ to raise up their hand, I raised up my hand and, and I, was, I was given a booklet that we should attend the program in the high school. So I attend the program. And when I attend the program, what you are teaching us enter my ear, and I repented and gave my life to Christ. Before I repented, it was years ago, I ran away from home for, for a year ago, but on 24th, I just feel like, let me visit home. I was not, I was not knowing, the part I was doing any crusade, but I just visit home because my parents are the palaver. So as I, as I attend home, my, my mom and dad now told me about the crusade. And I have, I, I have no plan for the crusade before, but they told me about the crusade and I said I will attend. So it was that 21st, I attended the crusade. And this is how the Lord arrest my soul. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The miracle of salvation, that is the mother of all miracles. Amen. Second testimony. Praise the Lord. I have standing beside me, Adekoya Esther. She's been diagnosed of toxic goiter since six years now. She got her healing. Listen to her testimony. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. I am yet to testify to the goodness of God in my life. I was diagnosed of hyperthyroidism. And um, I remember to see the consultant. What she told me, hyperthyroidism doesn't heal. She said it's something that I have to manage for a lifetime. I would have to be on drugs for a lifetime. And what it did to me was one, I had goiter. My neck was protruding. I had bulging eyes. My eyes were so big. I had severe heart palpitation. My heart was always beating abnormally. I mean, I had to be on drugs. I had drugs that um, helped regulate my heartbeat. And it was, it was like that over a long period of time. I, I had issues, you know, processing my words. It got to a point that it was really beginning to affect my brain. I, I just couldn't, I lost con concentration. I couldn't, you know, coordinate myself. It, it was a lot, actually. There were a lot of symptoms. But I, I thank God because shortly before the global crusade that held in July, towards the end of the month in July, the Lord told me then that the Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. And I, I bless the Lord because I went for the crusade believing, and that was where God visited me. I, I received my healing at that crusade. I had I'd never stopped the medications for a long time before. There was a time I stopped for about one month. I had a very severe crisis. But to the glory of God, brethren, I've been hoped all the medications since August this year, and I feel no symptom anymore. My neck is no longer bulging. My producing, my height is no longer producing. Everything is fine now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
to one or two testimonies from on the line. People listening online. God has done it again. We told you two days ago of the dead raised to life. And yesterday, we got another one from Ethiopia. And just today, we have gotten another one. The picture is coming on your screen right now. This was sent to us from Uyo. The young girl you will see very shortly, 13-year-old Esther Etebom. There she is. This girl was on oxygen, taken to the general hospital. And then on Wednesday, her case went very bad. By Thursday, we are told, the father standing with her, they spoke in their language, she totally stopped breathing. And they thought she was dead. They had brought the clothes to cover this young lady. But our father was still praying as the crusade was ongoing that Thursday evening. They were at the campground. The mother went to the campground. The father stayed with the girl in the hospital. And the father told them, don't cover this girl. She's not dead. She will come back campground and as our father said the final amen we are told that her, and miraculously she came back to life the hospital have said that this is unbelievable that she must stay in the hospital they want to see whether this is real they have kept her since then up till now and there she is she is well we will bring you details of this as we will cover this and give you the full story god is doing great things. Finally, from the social media, we have this one from Kaduna. We go to Kaduna live. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Jerry Asemota. I'm based in Kaduna, Kaduna State, Nigeria, West Africa. I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord unto me. Um, some years ago, I had some challenges uh, that resulted to my blood pressure rising. And the doctors uh, advised that uh, I should do everything to bring it down. So they recommended some drugs, which I've been taking. Uh, for the past uh, five years. But even with the drugs, there, there have been fluctuation up and down. But by the grace of God, during the Uyo program, uh, the Lord visited me and I became a beneficiary of the Global Crusade uh, Miracles, uh, miracle prayer that the pastor, a general pretendant, uh, prayed. And uh, the last day of the program, although there was a Sunday worship service where he also prayed, uh, I didn't really uh, churn that day. It was not until the evening, the last day of the program, that I checked on. I monitored it, and I discovered that blood pressure was 120 by, eight, by 80. And uh, that means that the cystic uh, was 120, the diastolic was uh, 80. And from that day on, by the grace of God, the blood pressure analyzed. In fact, it has been below 120 and below uh, not more than 80. So the Lord has uh, normalized my blood pressure for the past, uh, all throughout uh, November and December. I've not taken any drugs. The Lord has uh, normalized everything. Praise the Lord. The Lord who has done it for me, he will do it for you. I want you into this ongoing explosion of miracles and you will receive yours in jesus name praise the lord the pastor will still come with miracle prayers i only wish we have enough time to entertain all the testimonies meanwhile 
Let's listen to the Lagos 